Treat yourself. Don't worry about what other people. What is this? What? Why does your pizza look like it has an infection? Like a yeast infection? Are these pancakes? You got pancakes just chilling out on trays like this? This right here, is this bacon? What happened to it? What, did somebody wash it? Is this cheese? Is this cheese or somebody's like toenail clippings? Dude, you guys have some weird food, dude. They were nachos. I never want a nacho again. What yeah, I wouldn't either. This shit doesn't even look like food. This looks like something you would find in your wall. What I eat in a day. What I eat in a day. What I eat in a day. Hi, my name is Charlie Jenny and here's what I eat in the day. If you feel self-conscious or worried about the food you eat, honestly, just watch this series and hopefully it'll make... This, this looks absolutely disgusting i don't know what's up with you guys in the uk eating things that look like fermented foreskin this is this does not look appetizing maybe the ebony the ebony m ms maybe are okay if you feel self-conscious or worried about the food like you can get these no problem dude these M pff, i mean she repping both sides of the contrast dude you get the the white and the in, in the dark right you get that interracial with one person that's beautiful but i don't oh my god dude wearing the sandals as well dude come on come on i do like the nail color Fijiri, honestly just watch this series and hopefully it'll make you feel a bit better read for the comments and it's gonna i'm gonna feel a lot better knowing that i'm not eating the same way that you're eating that's what's that i feel like that's where most people are gonna get their enjoyment from when they go oh dang God, I'm not this person. Thank God I'm not a person that's drinking out of the tap. I don't know if you guys are familiar with water here in the United States. We got a bad reputation, okay? Whether it's from Flint and like, I don't know, like you're basically self-inducing down syndrome upon yourself. I don't know if like that's ever been solved. But water here in America has a very poor, representat very poor representation. It's almost like if you were here in America and somebody was like, hey, dude, you want some water? And you said, yeah, I would love some water, right? They went over to the sink and popped the tap. That's that's a sign of disrespect. That means that person doesn't like you. They probably want you to die because that water is basically non-drinkable. You would only ever see me drinking bottled water. And I know that bottled water is not the best for the environment. But like, dude, I'm not a sea turtle. So I'm not dealing with the negative effects of that. And also, the amount of people that I see talking about the negative effects on the environment never talk about China or India. Where are the people, who are the people that are most responsible for all of the toxic terrible waste that's in the water and all over the country and things such and so forth don't get me wrong here in america we are responsible for a lot of things and i will go yes you are right america sucks sometimes but overall i think we're okay but um i think when she says like i hope this makes you feel better it does make me feel better knowing that you i'm not in the position that you're in where you're just casually body slamming potentially thousands of calories that are just doing nothing for you and you'll see you're not the only person look at this look can we just hold on bro I know I keep interrupting. I just want to real quick comments and you'll look see at you're this not beautiful meal that this woman has, okay? She's got a foreskin sausage, BBC sized. She's got the ebony M&Ms, which she's going to body slam the entire bag. I mean, that's a factual statement. And she's got water that just came straight out the tap, probably with amoebas, tadpoles, whatever else you want to think about, whatever's in there, right? Camel semen. The only person watch these videos and see what I eat. And then you'll realize we all have to treat ourselves to a takeaway or going out. This is a takeaway? This is a takeout, huh? This is takeout, huh? That's, I mean, I hate, I mean, who, who am I to judge what is and what is not takeout? I don't know why you guys, oh man, you guys over there in the UK have such weird terminologies on how you define things. A takeaway, not just I'm getting takeout. It's interesting. Like, I feel like that's much more to the point. Yeah, we're going to get some takeout, not I'm going to get a takeaway. I just really feel like that's a little bit extra for no reason. Food, having some nibbles. Look at, I love that it says more to share and then she's eating it by herself. You realize we Who are you sharing this with? Your mouth and your mouth? To a takeaway or going out for food, Shut having up. some nibbles more to share. bed. We're like a little family here, you know, updates each other what we're eating and all the junk foods and the McDonald's we're ordering. And you should... Yo, this is insane. Okay, dude. Got the Domino's too. Obviously, she got the garlic dip, whatever the fuck that shit is. Um, I do like the nails. I think I love I love green nails. I think green looks really really good. Feel self conscious about the food you eat. Don't listen to your parents' game, dude. You know how many calories each one of these are? I'm thinking each one of these is probably around 200 calories at the bare minimum. This could honestly be way more. The amount of times I've been surprised, like I think, oh, it can't be that much. It's just a cookie, right? It can't be more than like 100, 200 calories, right? But then you Google it and you're like, holy shit, this shit was like 400, fucking 500 calories. But I'm just gonna lowball it. Um, you can correct me down below, but I'm pretty sure. These donuts are probably, I mean, donuts, sorry. These cookies are probably around 200 calories, probably. So two, four, six, eight. At the bare minimum, she's eating 800 calories. They could be more. I could be wrong on this. But um, yeah, they look like they're about 200 calories each. So if she's bodying all four of these, easily 800 calories gone through your day. Keep in mind, if you're a woman, 
you only really realistically need to eat about 2,000 calories, maybe give or take like 100 or 200. And if you're on a deficit, you need to eat less than that. Some women I know can literally only eat 1,500 calories a day or even less because that's just what their bodies are naturally facilitating for. They're not supposed to be eating. So, so many people have this like misconception of seeing other people eat food and they go, this guy's eating four, 5,000 calories a day. I should be able to eat that. But you're also not given the fact that this guy goes to the gym. He works out. He does a ton of cardio and he's six foot four and he's naturally a big ass dude. You are five foot two and you, I don't know, you realistically should be like 110 pounds. And uh, I don't know. I, I get it. It sucks to suck. Like you want to eat, you want to slurp down a whole bunch of um, high calorie greased up foods. I get it. But it may not be in the cards for you, and that's okay. It doesn't have to be in the cards for you. You can eat other things that are more nutritious and more beneficial for you. Wait, 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 wait. Someone help people. Blah, blah, blah. Treat yourself. Don't worry about what other people. What is this? What? Why does your pizza look like it has an infection, like a yeast infection, on your fucking pizza, dude? What? What happened here? Was your delivery driver the homeless guy down the street and he had an accident? He, he, he couldn't wipe his ass, so he wiped your pizza. What the fuck is this shit? What is it? It's just randomly pasted on. It's like somebody dipped their hands in like a porta potty and just went like this all over your fucking your pizza. This is gross. This doesn't even look edible. But go off, queen. I mean, you have a whole pizza for yourself. This woman is on parallel, dude. Having a whole pizza for us. I know it's a small pizza. I don't give a fuck what you say. She had four. She had four of those cookies, and now she's body slamming a yeast infection pizza. We say as long as you are happy, that's all that matters. Gross. And as you can that's see not, by the way, that's not a good thing. As long as you're happy, that's all that matters. Fuck off me. Is that what you tell to a, a guy down the street that's sucking a man off so he can get a heroin hit? Is that what you're telling that guy? As long as he's happy, because he's real happy after sucking that guy down. Not because he just sucked that man down. Well, maybe. I don't know. There's a lot of gay homeless men. But because now he can get the drugs that he so desires. Why do we facilitate one bad habit, but the other bad habit, like drug abuse, is not... That's like, oh, demonize, demonize. I guess one does. One is obviously worse than the other. At least like, you're getting some food in you where homeless guys sucking other guys off. Like they're, the semen that they're drinking down is probably like the only nutritional value they're getting that day. See, today I treat myself to a Domino's. Or do yourself. You guys say some weird shit. You guys say some really weird shit. I, or, I, I treated myself to a Domino's. Why do you need to add in the A? Why? You guys are the people that invented the language. How is it every time I hear you guys speak this shit, I'm always thinking, why are you adding in extra words in places that don't need to be there? I just, I wanted to treat myself to a Domino's. What about, I just wanted to treat myself to Domino's. What's that? <laughs> What's wrong with that? What happened there? Huh? A Domino's doesn't even sound right. You order two things. Okay, whatever, dude. Takeaway. Anyways, that's it. Thank fucking God. I mean, it wasn't a lot of food for the day, but then again, like, the amount of calories that she consumed was immense. Immense. Why in a day going to London? We grabbed a deli and some snacks for the train. I spotted a Mars so ice coffee. You guys... Yeah. You guys, I get it. Like when you're outside and you want to, you can't really cook food because you're not in an environment with like an oven or a microwave or whatever the fuck you use to cook food. So you have to go and get a takeaway and you're going to buy random assortments of foods and snacks and things such and so forth. But you guys have to do better. Why can't you pack a sandwich? What's wrong with packing a sandwich? You can't make a sandwich at the crib. You can't go and go to your kitchen, pull out some deli meat and put that shit on some bread, mayonnaise it up a little bit. I know you guys in the UK love the fucking mayonnaise. Half the sandwiches you guys eat are just mayonnaise. I'm surprised there's even bread some. Sometimes you guys are just sucking the mayonnaise. I mean, at the point of the time that I see you guys coating your food in mayonnaise, you might as well just have like a mayonnaise and like a, a binky on the top of that shit and just fucking <laughs> just slosh down all that mayonnaise, dude, because you guys love that shit. Here in America, we don't have that issue. I don't know what people hear. What do we, what condiment? I guess barbecue sauce, maybe hot sauce, but that's way better than sucking off some mayonnaise, dude. Me, Corey, off. Look at this fucking meal right here. Oh, whoa. She, you know, this, whatever the fuck this thing is. Man, that thing's whew, camel toe action right there. Uh, big ass Coca-Cola. Obviously, you got to have the iced coffee, which is not really iced coffee, but we'll give it the iced coffee. And the Space Raiders, which we don't have, um, which I'm actually really saddened about. I mean, when you guys have aliens with beards, that's just pretty fucking cool. Off to London for our management's party tonight, and we are so excited! From the deli, I got cheese and onion wrap. Get that zelly in my- I think that people should, if you want to get plastic surgery, I think that it's okay for you to get plastic surgery. But oftentimes, I see people getting plastic surgery way too young. Like, it's there's an incentivization to never age here in America. And I don't know what the fuck is going on with that. Like, it's okay to look your age. You don't always have to look like you're 22 when you're like 44 or whatever. But some people will be 22 and then try to not look 22. And then 
they'll be 22 get the get these big giant surgeries these plastic surgeries to i don't even understand what you're even doing anymore like usually the point of plastic surgery is to make you look younger but these people are getting these plastic surgeries and the result is like they look older significantly older too at that and their faces don't move and they have giant lips that don't make any fucking sense at all they got like shelves for butt cheeks it doesn't make sense and I think right now in today's era, it's just like, why do we incentivize this shit so heavily? You're okay the way that you are. And if you want to get plastic surgery, that's fine. But can we at least compromise enough to make sure you look human and also not look like everybody else that gets plastic surgery? Like if you're 22 and you get plastic surgery, why do you look 40? Why every time you get plastic surgery, you look 40? Your, your cheekbones are way too fucking chiseled. You're getting jaw implantments. What are you even doing there? Nose jobs like crazy, dude. And you look like you're 42. You look like you're Madonna now. That's not good. I'm not saying this woman is like that. But sometimes like when I see people with obvious plastic surgery, I, is that the objective? Like, I thought the entire objective was to not look like you have plastic surgery, to make it look like it's just like a subtle change almost, right? Not so, not when I'm looking at you and I go, that's plastic surgery. That person, 100%, has no facial movement at all. That's not normal. So that's usually what I look at. My belly, it was absolutely gorgeous. And so was this iced coffee. Then we got to London, I think. Going to, was... No movement in the face, dude. No movement in the face, bro. Sick of my sick, to be honest. We had a Tesco right next door a to- A Tesco. We had a Tesco. Okay, maybe it's not too bad, actually. A travel lodge. I got some body crannies. No, no and then we no got movement. ready for the party. Lauren. Dude, what is this, like, same shit, like- like, what is that? Every single time? Okay. Damn, this woman is fucking... Why is she so brown? Don't you guys in the UK have, like, the worst weather in the in the world? How is she darker than me? I I go outside. I, I, I endure the sun. I mean, granted, I do wear SPF. You know, I got to block out that sun to make sure that I look my age for the rest of my life. But this woman is dork, bro. She's real dork. She look like she's like 20% melanin here, dude. She could possibly be a light skin on the orange side if oranges were also people, which is fine. If you want to tan, I'm not shitting on anybody for tanning. But if you're in the UK, don't you guys like 90% of the time have like really, really bad weather and disgusting weather? Isn't it like a, a, a perpetually depressing place since you guys like are eating beans on toast and shit like that? And Charlie, JJ, and Sean wow, met Harry Potter, in my dude. room. And we had some drink. Ooh, damn. You real deal be finding yourself in the worst places that people with food addictions, man. You guys are really out here eating like a charcuterie board of terrible, disgusting foods. The only good thing I see on this on this tray right now are the grapes, which are having a threesome, foursome with the with the cheese, the fermented cow titty milk, and then the sticks, whatever these sticks are. I think that's probably okay. You could probably suck on that wood right there and get more sustenance than all this shit combined. Bring keys that we got to the party. Damn. I am obsessed with this portable party. Dude. <sighs> it's fine. Like, get plastic surgery. But I just, I wish that, I wish your face would move. I need one for my next party. Look how insane we all are. Why does it look like she's constantly closing her eyes? Is she actually closing her eyes? Or is it just, it just looks like that. So much fun in there. I add a hot dog. Oh, God damn. How you gonna eat that shit looks terrible. Hog and chips. And you know when yo <laughs> hold up now you're gonna have to slow your roll a little bit how many how many people you think watch this video right at this particular moment bust bust right there on the spot oh no my keyboard what my god do bust right there on the spot dude you got a bbc size hot dog and you got some fries with it and you just came back from a like i don't even know a buffet full of terrible snack foods uh, ungodly levels of of snack foods and now your body slim and bbc's highs hot dogs insane we all had so much fun in there i had a hot dog terrible. and chips and fries and whatever the fuck that shit is using a metal straw too like this is love is blind and you know when you're steaming and starving like this steaming and starving I've never heard any time in my life a woman refer to herself as steaming unless we're talking about something that you know I'm talking about, dude. You know what I'm saying, right? It was stunning. They had candy floss and popcorn. They also had a 360 booth. It was so much fun. Cool. Maya fed me some fudge. And then some JJ fudge, found the croissants. Mine was a bit dry. What the fuck is this? Okay, I know that I touch on people's appearances a little bit too much. I never comment on people's things that they can change, like they can't change. Dude, this guy. This guy looking like he's an extra from like 1995's InSync. You know, baby bye, 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 bye. 
This guy, no problem. Like, I think this attire is fine. I think he might be gay, which is fine. But he's got the croissants. Like, he's, uh, what's that guy's name? Jimmy's mom. Jimmy's mom. This is fine. Even though it's a little weird to have this, like, knitting, whatever. Fine. It's your style, right? I don't care. Croissants. This looks fine. Mine was a bit but then you have these, like, I don't even know, 2004 Bratz dolls. Uh, like pants, you know, you ever see brats how they have like those very very big giant bell bottoms This is like some straight-up 1990s attire dude, and it's fine. It's okay I'm not here to judge anybody, but this shit's kind of um, I don't like it. It's ugly to me. I don't like it Why can't we why are we so in deep right now with flared pants? I think flared pants were fine if your name was John Travolta and it was 1974 and you were about to sing and dance to the Bee Gees fine you're in your era hashtag slay queen but like in 2024 and you're wearing bell bottoms not even bell bottoms this is an offense to bell bottoms bell bottoms they taper out i mean my bad they taper they, they don't taper out they come out at the ends right this is ridiculous these things will be coming out like all the way out you could probably sweep the floor by just walking by with these things <sighs> all right anyway that's my little rant right so drunk me thought pouring my vodka and cranny Ugh. on it would make it Tastes nice. We ended up going to heaven. That's a, wow, what a shot, dude. What a fucking shot right there. Pouring your alcohol on the croissant. How many croissants did you have, by the way, that you could just spare one and just pour your drink on it, man? Then And it was so, so busy. Damn, how, dude, didn't you go to like three or four parties? Sometimes, it, damn, whew, I'm not gonna say anything. Sometimes, how old is this woman? Like 40, 32, 44? I don't know, bro. It's, it's super ambiguous. What age do you stop going to these like rave parties or whatever, right? I think these are probably okay in your 20s, late 20s. You might be a little bit like, you know, you might be forcing it a little bit. But when a woman is like, this is your mom. You know what I'm saying? This is your mom in the club right now, dude. I don't know, man. You could do whatever you want, but I would be disconcerned. I'd be like, yo, why is there somebody's mom on the dance floor right now, dude? Fun facts. I actually got kicked out because I was yo! that drunk. Damn, dude. What the? Damn, that's tough, dude. <sighs> that's tough. They're real deal. Put this woman in the closet. Damn, that's fucking tough, bro. She's real deal in the closet right now. That's that's sad as shit. She, you couldn't give her a room. You couldn't put her in the, up in, up in the bed with the rest of you guys, dude. She gotta sit. And she's eating the French fries with the cheese on top. This is depressing. This is absolutely atrocious. This is you're supposed to be your friend, and she's sitting in the closet. Iconic, if you ask me. I ate my meal deal whilst we were waiting for our Chinese. Get the fuck out of here, dude. I'm not looking at this shit, bro. This guy is weird, dude. Are we are we really sitting here watching a man? eat spaghetti dried up dried up fucking spaghetti with sunglasses what are we doing you don't have a fork anywhere i think it'd be better to use your fucking hands you don't have a place you can wash your hands dude what are you doing what, what are you doing bro what is this slop ass chef boy rd shit that they put in a tupperware it's not it's not it dude it's not it why the fuck are you doing that shit with glasses do you just have like tons of glasses this is normal for you is this like do you guys not have forks and spoons in the UK? Is this utensils? Somebody gotta let me know, bro. And we had no cutlery, so JJ had to eat his noodles with his gloves. How the fuck you gonna tell me you didn't have cutlery? I'm literally looking at you using a fork spoon. What are you talking about? This, bro, you guys gotta chill out, okay? Calm the fuck down for a second. You're not sitting here telling me that you don't got cutlery when I just watched a man eating out of a fucking spaghetti dish with his with his sunglasses and I'm looking at you 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 just that's so fucking offensive I'm going to just keep it a buck he's eating this shit with a with, with with his sunglasses he's happy as hell okay one direction singer and we had no cutlery so JJ had sad to as fuck you. couldn't even get it onto the whatever the fuck you want to call that the side of the the headpiece and then you talk about some we didn't have any utensils while I'm looking at you just uh, fucking diving into some some dried up I don't even know rice. What are you doing? Will you lie to that man? And you eating this shit on the bed? Oh man, look at the bed is already covered in all this. Who does with his glasses? Man, that's fucked up, bro. You over here talking about some? Oh, sorry, bro. We don't got you. We don't got any utensils. As you flash in the fork spoon. Um, um, oh yeah, bro. We don't have any fucking utensils. He couldn't use that one. You couldn't just real quick wash it underneath the the sink real quick and throw it at his head. Instead, he got to eat that shit with his fucking glasses, dude. What kind of what kind of friends you guys have, bro? That woman was in the closet, body slamming French fries with cheese on that shit, depressing. And then you had a guy eating 
spaghetti off of sunglasses while you're talking about some we don't have any utensils while you're eating with the utensil. Disgusting. What I eat in his eyes is a fat bitch. You're very controversial. It doesn't give a fuck that she's fat. You guys real deal be killing that shit with the makeup, dude. That shit is beat the fuck up, man. I'm not gonna lie to you, dude. Whew. Why you do your sun why you do your eye eyebrows like that? What the hell are you doing? I think it would be better if you had that Super Saiyan 3 eyebrows where they wouldn't even exist at all. Damn, what are you trying to do? What is this, like, eyebrow palette shit you got right now? What are you, like, what are you, Avril, Avril Lavigne from 2004? For me, I got a sausage bomb. And what the fuck is going on with your eye? Okay, let me stop. Pan chocolate thing that I'm not even going to try and attempt to say. Then later on, we went out with Uni and I got mega drinks. Got a couple cocktails, got a few gins. Then pizza, Uni ordered course. loads of pizza for Bougie us. Pizza. I had a play Damn, hold up, cocktails, bro. Got a few gins. Then Uni ordered loads. And that light ain't it, bro. Whew. Damn. It's a pizza for us. I had a plain margarita one. I had a pepper. Dude. You got multiple pizzas? Damn, dude. Actually, the first two slices wasn't too bad if that was just all you was going to eat. But then you ordered two more. Why didn't you just ask for the box? What is this shit? They're giving you some real small slices of pizza? One, I had a Damn. chicken one. Then we got more drinks. And so you got six slices? At the oh, end shit, of the night, so I took some home. And then I had some more pizza when I got home. This one was Damn. the best. That spicy pepperoni yeah. and jalapeno. Whoa, bro. I like this cup. I like this cup, actually. That that whole day worth of eating was not good. It wasn't the best, though. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't good either. The reason is I is a fat bitch who very controversially doesn't give a fuck. Ooh. How does that look like that? This looks like something that somebody would send you in, like, 2011. And they would go, bro, check out this link. Check out this link, bro. This woman is so hot. Wait till she spreads her butt cheeks. And you spread her butt cheeks, and this is what you see. Gross. What is that? What is this thing? The cheese fat. Red Bull for breakfast. Damn. Oh, damn. Damn. That's a fucking big ass tray. Means it's nails day. Damn. You got a lot of fucking food, dude. I hope this is not just for you. After nails, me and Bosh went in. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is this the drinks? Uh, the may Garlic mayo. Huh, you guys got a problem. And two try Popeyes. Bacon and chips, good. Mac and cheese and gravy, yuck. D after bro. tea, I had a variety of fish. What do you mean after tea? Somebody told me that tea is like dinner for you guys. Why? <laughs> Why you gotta do that, huh? I know that here in America, we got weird terminologies for things too. But that's weird. Tea is dinner? That's a weird thing to say. Why? Why is that? So that was your dinner? That was the first time you ate today. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, she ate a lot of fucking, even though for the day she didn't eat a lot of food, she ate a lot of calories, okay? Let's go back and look upon this, this disgustingness. Like, she started her day, okay? Okay, she started her day, she body slammed some kind of weird, I don't even know what this thing, you could even call this, like some kind of anal gapage. Controversially, right? doesn't Pastry. give a fuck that she's fat. Rebel. And then she body slamming, dude, there's at least two chicken patties right there. There's probably another whole chicken sandwich right there. Hold up. So it is three of five. Oh my god. Three of five, okay? Uh, I can't see what it is, but these are probably two chicken sandwiches guaranteed. This is probably a big-ass chicken sandwich. Here are the drinks right here, obviously. For breakfast means it's nice. Oh, this is some breakfast, dude. This is breakfast? Damn. Man. Whew, you, ain't got, you ain't got long if this is how you're going to be eating breakfast. I said I was me and Bosh went in. Damn, that shit looks wet as fuck. And what is this? I didn't even see that in the last clip. And two try Popeyes. Bacon and chips, go. Gravy? Mac and cheese and gravy, yuck. Emphasis Mac and cheese and gravy? What the fuck you do? What do you mean, mac and cheese and gravy? Do you pour them into each other? What? See, I had a variety of fish. Lovely. Gross. Gross. You guys have some weird food choices over there in the UK. These Costco jacket potatoes are literally unbelievable. That's a potato? That's a potato, huh? Where'd you get it? Did you find this outside of like a, home a homeless encampment? Why does it look like that? What happened? Would you microwave it eight times? It might not look the best. It, it, no, you, that's an understatement. That's a fucking understatement, dude. Obviously, this shit don't look the best. I, I didn't even know this shit was a potato. The fuck it, you, this is an abomination of a potato. But I'm telling you now, they taste fucking unreal. You should feel shandy yourself. I had chili con carne Damn. and cheese. Also, they ain't stingy with the toppings at all. She opened her I mouth. was working in between clients quickly had some of this. Why you, why you have the glove on? <laughs> Okay. Dime bar chocolate. I literally love dime bars. That's probably one of my favorite chocolates, like the normal ones. Damn. And then as another snack, I had Derrily Dunker and I also had um, one of the little Milka. Did she have plastic surgery too, man? What is going on? Why the face is not moving correctly? 
<sighs> the cake bars you'll see in a second. If you haven't tried these, that is me covered in dust, by the way, because I'm an architect. So, yeah, covered in dust. Anyway, they're the chocolate at the bar. Like they are that. so nice. And then for my lunch, me and my sister just shared some Chinese. So we had rice and then we had um, vegetable noodles. Yeah, I can't even see your front I'm not teeth. sure if I love this. Too much, too much, too much lip filler. Too much. Damn, that tongue coming out. Too much lip filler, dude. Go ahead. And, and, and celebrate your body however you want to and go get your plastic surgery, dude. It's just when you when you talk, you should see some like a little bit of something, you know, like a little bit of a reactionist when you talk. But if you don't, if I don't want to see a nut, a nothing, it's just kind of mm, a little off putting, a little off putting. I'll be honest with you. Anyway, damn. damn. In the evening, ended up going out for a little while, had a fucking nightmare, drove an hour to find this restaurant I'd seen online, and when we got there. Damn. It weren't there anymore, but anyway, I ended up with favourite chicken after the palaver and got popcorn chicken and chips. That was everything I ate. Oh, I'm so hungover. There's only one thing. This guy, man, you know what? For a long time, and I thought chips. this was, was his mom. I, ate. Oh. I thought this was his mom for like a really long time, bro. And then people were like, David, that's not his mom. That's his girlfriend. Dude, don't come at me, okay? Fucking first of all, dude. No, I know a lot of people that would mistake that shit, okay? I just thought his mom looked good, you know, in the sense of like for her age. Right? She could be a young mom. She could have had him when he was like, she was like 20 or something like that, dude. Whatever. I thought this was his mom. I didn't know, though. Don't come at me, bro. That's his wife, by the way, or his girlfriend or something. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah. What I love about these people, especially in the UK, you guys just kind of have a passive ability to just be drunk, huh? Like, why are you guys always alcohol driven? I, I, I don't know what's up with that. I know here in America, we got a problem with diabetes and we got a problem with obesity. Why do you guys have a problem with drinking? Why is everybody that I've, I've always watched these videos and these people go, oh man, I'm just like really hung over. Half the time I feel like you guys don't even drink. I just feel like you guys wake up like that. Like you just kind of wake up and you're just fucked up. Like you just kind of fall out of your bed and then you use it as an excuse to go get yourself a Mackey's. And then you got to go take that Mackey's and you go to the corner store and get those fucking Space Invader things. And then you're drinking it all down with terrible chocolate milk. And then you're dipping it all in mayonnaise. What is up with you guys? What the fuck? Why, like, how depressing of a place is this where your passive ability for your country is waking up hungover? Uber, there's only one thing that's gonna make me feel better. A ridiculous amount of food. We woke up in the Premier Inn, so first things first, let's get an all you can eat breakfast. That's you crazy. Can go up as many that times. That shit looks gross, man. What the fuck is this? What is this mud pie shit? What the fuck is that? This right here, is this bacon? What happened to it? What did somebody wash it? Like what are you guys? What are you guys doing? What do you got? What do you got? Like you just defrost the bacon, and just leave it on the table? Is that what this is? It looks uncooked. Things as you want, and I'm so hungry. Bro, right? this is fucking gross, man. If I went to a buffet, I'm leaving, dude. This is fucking nasty. If I walked into a buffet and I saw this, I'm leaving, dude. What the fuck is all this shit? Dude, hold up, bro. Can I just go back for a second? All of this shit is gross. Are these pancakes? You got pancakes just chilling out on trays like this? What the fuck are you guys doing? Okay. Just let's get an all-you-can-eat breakfast. You can go up. This shit right here, gross. Just random sausages thrown out on a tray. Uncooked bacon. I think, I hope that's fucking bacon. Looking like somebody washed it. This shit right here, I have no idea what the fuck this shit is. This looks like if you were making, if you were making like muffins and then you kind of overcooked them a little bit and that top part kind of inflated a little bit and they just cut off the top part. That's what it looks like. Tomato sauce. I don't know why. Tomatoes. Random tomatoes. I don't know what the fuck you're doing there. Why is that even here next to all this other food? You won, and I think so that's hungry. macaroni and cheese. It's probably like the only edible thing here, but even there, it kind of doesn't look okay. Mushrooms, for some reason. I don't know why that's there. Right now, like and it's, it's like in some kind of water. It's like some kind of juice or something like that. What is this? Tater? Is this just like hash browns? Is that just hash browns? <laughs> you guys got to do something, dude. This is... Huh. How long has been sitting out? Feels like it's eating my organs. I got seven hash browns. Dude, and the beans, of course. This shit look like somebody's earlobe. Two eggs, two bacon, two sausage. I knew that shit was bacon, dude. I knew it, dude. You guys got some weird ass food, man. You, you know what? I know some people in the UK that think they have the audacity to make fun of the eating habits here in America. You know, at least our food is, is not depressing. This is depressing. Why does your plate look like that? <sighs> Two black pudding and some beans. This was unreal, but I can't keep anything him. down. So I've had to run to the toilet to be safe. Dude, okay. I'm sorry, dude. Did he say that he had to run to the toilet because that shit was so bad? Can I just turn it up real quick? Hold up. 
things. This was unreal, but I can't keep anything down, so I've had to run to the toilet. You guys have some bad food, okay, bro? I'm gonna keep it a buck. This guy, real deal, just went to a buffet to body slam thousands of calories of literal slop, and then after he ate that shit, he was like, damn, <laughs> that shit kinda, that shit kinda hit me a little bit too hard, and he had to go bust it down after he just ate like thousands of calories, dude. That shit ain't good. I don't know what to tell you. What the fuck are you talking about? You woke up, you woke up super hungover, so you went to a buffet with slop ass food, and that shit gave you the bubble gut? Man, this sound like a bad day. This sound like a real bad day. To be second poo, it feels like I've been stuck. What are you, the second one? Damn, bro, your diet must be fucking busted if you're over here body slamming the toilet like that. I can't keep anything down, so I've had to run to the toilet to be sick and poo. It feels like I've been stabbed in the bum hole three times. Yo. Ow, ow, ow. My second plate of breakfast with some toast. Yeah, that's going to solve it. That's most definitely going to solve the issue, bro. That first place that fucking body slammed your stomach. Got to get the second plate just to make sure. You know, completely empty out the bowels. Have that shit come out like liquid. With two eggs. And my third plate of breakfast was more toast. Oh, hold up, bro. Did he say two eggs? Plate of breakfast with some toast. That's two eggs, huh? Okay, yeah, maybe it's two eggs. Okay, because it like spilling out a little With bit. With two eggs and my third plate of breakfast was more Damn. toast, egg and... <laughs> okay, fine. Sure. I'm not going to comment on it. This guy's body and a lot of fucking food, Beans. though. Now let's get some lunch. I couldn't think of anything worse of course, than you gotta traveling go to five McDonald's. hours on a hangover to get home. And all I can think... Yo. Yeah, that is crazy as fuck, bro. Did you ask this lady for the selfie or did she ask you for the selfie? She's like, oh, you're that guy. You're that guy on social media that just be body slamming tons and tons of food for no reason, right? You're that guy that wakes up passively hungover. Let me just take a selfie. Hold on, ready? I can't do it. Think about his bed. I want to dive Damn. into my bed Damn. and lay there for a month. We've stopped at Mackey's and it's got to be a lemonade when you're hungover. I prefer Oasis. I got cheese melt dippers, large fries, and for health, I got a chicken wrap with cheese. They did spike me with the cucumber. Damn. I love the smell of cucumber. I tried the cucumber. I Damn. hated the cucumber, but this chicken wrap was immense. Could, could, did he say he couldn't have the cucumber? cucumber? I love the smell of cucumber. I tried the cucumber. I hated the cucumber. You know why though, right? Anything, anything that's a vegetable, that's just gross. Get that shit out of my fucking plate i need things that are solidly gonna give me diabetes i want to wake up my foot is literally still in the bed when i get out take my first step i don't want vegetables all i want is big meat in my mouth but, but this chicken wrap was immense leo went for a big tasty tasty Yo, i can't believe you guys have words like that in your fucking menu dude are you serious a big tasty i don't know where the fuck you guys get off making names like that dude that's a straight up porn star name if somebody was like, yo, check me out, bro. I'm about to go and get a big tasty. I'd be like, yo, hold up, bro. <laughs> That's gay. That's real gay. I think even just saying that out loud makes you just gay. Saying like, yo, I'm about to go get a big tasty in my mouth. That's just gay. Anyway, yeah, go ahead and body slam. This guy thinks he's so fucking bougie, bro. Metal straw. And he's got the accessory on top. Dude, man. Come on, man. And you're drinking some kind of frappuccino that's probably like a thousand calories, dude. And then I got a caramel frap and another lemonade. When I seen the Greg lemonade. sign, my heart went pitter patter pitter patter. I need to go. Yeah, you gotta. Pit if you're sitting here telling me your your heart is literally having fluctuations, that's not a good thing, dude. Won't be pasty. I got a coffee and a sausage roll for the homeless. What the fuck are you doing holding this shit like that? Why are you holding it like this? What the fuck? This guy's got a lot of confidence. And outside, if you can afford it and you see a homeless person, buy him something little. Yeah, if you see a homeless person, just toss. Man, he looks inflated here. When you, you know, the American dream, the American dream back when McChickens used to be a dollar is going to Mickey D's, right? Hold, hear me out for a second. Go to Mickey D's, go, go pick up 20 McChickens, hundred McChickens, whatever you got, right? G get a big limousine, go out through the sunroof. Okay. Get those McChickens and just toss them at homeless people. Dude, you're fucking, that's the American dream. Tossing McChickens at homeless people. What are the, what, if you can do that in your life, you know, you made it, you know, you fucking made it, bro. Anyway, dude, I'm just saying. Now, this guy right here, I don't know what this, this shit right here is, dude. He must have just scooped this up from the, he must have just scooped this shit up from the, uh, the, 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 what is that shit called? The toilet. Yeah, he must have scooped this shit up from the toilet. It'll make their day. We're finally back in bed, and I've been craving the Chinese fuck. for weeks. We got everything. Chicken balls, salt and pepper chips, rice, noodles, crispy oh. beef. If you want to eat with me, pack out my oh. last vid. Finished off the night with these brownies. I'm watching Coronation and brownies, Street, Steve, and I'm dude? scared of you. Can't get any worse than that, dude. 
I don't think there's any sound for this one. No, there's no sound for this one, dude. I'm an idiot sandwich just trying to live her best life. Body slams, casually body slams an entire donut, which is probably realistically like three, 400 calories, dude. People sleep on how many fucking calories donuts are. Let's see how depressing this shit is. This don't look too bad. It looks okay. This is okay. A whole bunch of anal beads are sorted out on some avocado. Uh, I mean, she has eaten four of them, though. That's kind of a little bit much. I mean, you did just body slam an entire donut. I think you got to chill back a little bit. I think maybe you had a little bit too much this morning. Damn, dude. Putting that shit in your mouth is risk. Your friends love you. If you got friends that give you this, like, do they actually care for you? <laughs> vegan? Oh, right. She's a vegan. Yeah, damn. That shit does not look good, dude. Dinner, cheese, cheeseless pizza. Oh, man. Even when you guys have the option to not be depressing, is that corn? Did you put fucking corn on your pizza? Yo, I, look, dude. That, you know, man. What is it? Somebody's tooth? Okay, look. I know a lot of people think that pineapple on pizza is gross, right? This, this takes the cake. This is fucking gross. You're putting corn on pizza? This cannot be a normal thing, dude. I refuse to believe that this is a UK thing. You don't put this on pizza, do you? This is a joke. This is a solid joke. Like, you're making this up. This this woman is just fucking with us. <laughs> She's rage baiting right now. Corn on a pizza is crazy to me. I can't believe that shit's a real what thing. Your happy fat girl eats in a day that's not on a diet and apparently promotes a beef. This is, uh, is this like the starting of the day? A monster? And a whatever. Dude, why is it wet? Is this a sandwich? I feel like if I picked it up, it would just fall apart tea every second that she lives stop my day for the monster you can yo. judge that and also a toasty because it was like lunchtime but yo was that was not that, by the way that was not a toasty you, you're fucking lying to me this shit's a toasty this this is a toasty this is wet as fuck this is wetter than a, an african child during typhoon season this is not fucking toasty that's just moist all right you can judge that and also a toasty because it was like lunchtime but it was banging then had a coffee with a coffee with whipped cream is uh, that's a fuck that is a weird thing to put on your i've never seen this in my life i've never seen this you're putting whipped cream on a coffee cream. interesting and uh you know when you have like scrape cream you just want to put it in your mouth what are you man you guys gotta do something okay like can you guys just chill back like you guys in the uk gotta calm down a little bit like you guys been doing some things that i i, I just don't really understand and i'm starting to think that um you guys are getting away with it i think this is a problem a little bit clearly i'm not fucking capable but i was the second time around so that's completely fine if you don't do this then you're lying or yeah you're what lying the fuck is that? Had some left that's just burnt as fuck the nachos i never went that's nachos man you guys have got yo hold up you guys are a little bit too loose on the titles of these things man nachos this is nachos huh really that's real interesting what is this black shit why is it so crunch? You just throw random random stuff together and just call it whatever you think it is. Is this cheese? Is this cheese or somebody's like toenail clippings? Dude, you guys have some weird food, dude. If they were nachos, I never want a nacho again. What yeah, I wouldn't either. This shit doesn't even look like food. This looks like something you would find in your wall. It's a lie, but I don't want a nacho for a very long time. What the fuck? Is... really good though. Then I had a piece of toast with Marmite and- With what? Marmite? What's that? What's Marmite? Why does it look like that? How is it toast, but it's that wet? You shouldn't have even toasted if it was gonna be like this. Lots of butter and then tea with spinach with like this cheesy cauliflower potato oh. thing. It was really, really good. And oh my God. What is good? What's going on with you people, man? This is weird. Just random spinach, you didn't even cook it? Would you just find this in somebody's garden? Why does it look like that? Why is everything so wet? With like this cheesy cauliflower potato we think it was really really good and some vegan chicken oh yeah i forgot to mention everything in this video was vegan yeah but that, uh, that i don't care honestly you should have probably this i would have sucked off a cow before i did any of this that shit is all gross Fucking shame, I dude. I'm doing a day, so I woke up and just got ready for the day. I put a oh, wow, on. nice hair. Cold. I fed the cat and let the cat out, and then Ooh. for breakfast, I made scrambled. <sighs> it's not bad, actually. The bacon actually looks a little cooked. I'll give her that. Bag with salt not bad. Ketchup. This is the I best breakfast I've seen so far. And then I had some water. And good. I just got ready because I was going down to swim in. Cool. The weather was actually really nice. So far, well, so, so good. Nice I can't day. hate on the Crocs, it's man. Funny. Crocs is not good. 20 minute workout time, distance 0 0.1, 0 0.75. Seven three miles, 
active calories, total calories, average pace, average heartbeat. Damn, your heartbeat was kind of going a little bit hard, but it's okay. Um, I don't even understand what this means. Like active calories and total calories? Is this how many calories she burnt? It's not bad. Minutes. When I got there, I did an hour and a half lane swim and then an hour aqua fit class. And then I just got ready afterwards and met my boyfriend. I had to go to the chemist to pick up a prescription. And I also- I really hope that she doesn't destroy this entire day of doing good progress of actually trying to like be active and then order some crazy food for lunch i made this cucumber sushi not bad like chicken and peppers not bad really nice. i did have to use my hands though because it was too chunky to use chopstick okay watch some crazy at me and then later on for tea I not bad a chicken bowl with peppers onions cheese and chicken. so far not bad not bad chicken, some lettuce and salsa okay. and i had a black currant dash water then I had a cup of tea and got cozy in a blanket because it was freezing and I had a cheese string as a little okay. later on. Got into bed, I put fresh sheets on and that's everything. That's, that's not bad. That's actually a good day of eating. Watching. That's it? Yeah. That's it. No problem, dude. No problem. That last one was the best one. Out of everybody, the best one. Super active, went swimming, walked, did a workout and ate pretty right. I mean, the cheese stick wasn't that bad. wasn't that good, but it's okay. It wasn't that bad either. Good day so far, that woman. But anyway... Um, you guys in the UK, anybody that watches from the UK, you guys got some weird culinary concoctions, dude. I've never seen some shit like that. Why are beans always... Beans and having wet food that you say is cooked. Like, you go, oh yeah, bacon. That shit looks moist. That shit looks like it's been marinating in, like, water all night before you guys eat it. And then, every time you guys go, this is my toast. And it's the most wet shit I've ever seen in my life. It's sogged. Sogged up. And you guys have the audacity to say you toasted it. I would hate to see what regular bread looks like. What is it, just the ocean? What are you guys doing over there? Why does everything have to incorporate mayonnaise and beans? Anyway, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. All those things I'd appreciate tremendously. It helps me grow in the algorithm. So if you could do that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in bottle cap because I have a problem with them. I have a whole bunch of bottle caps here. I have a problem with, I know, I know they're bad for the environment, dude. But what I kind of like to do is like, I like to hold them in my hand, like a whole bunch of them and just kind of throw them on the, on the table. Like it's a, I don't know, like I'm playing dice or whatever, right? But at least you know that I'm extremely hydrated all the time, no matter what, just like you. Because I know you incentivize the hydration of your person as much as you possibly can to make sure that you're not dehydrated because we know that in America and maybe around the other parts of the, the world, people are perpetually dehydrated. Even though we're in a time and era where water is all over the place and people can buy it relatively cheap and even comes out of your sink, unless you're here in America or like Michigan, where the water that comes out is like basically like bricks and it's going to give you some type of like asbestos or something in your mouth. We have so many ways of people drinking water, and yet we still find people that are constantly de constantly dehydrated. So I know you're doing that. I know you're trying to take care of yourself the best you can, which is really, really beautiful. And I appreciate you tremendously for that. Because ultimately, if you can't take care of yourself, how are you going to take care of other people around you? You have to take care of yourself. So the fact that you're doing that on a daily basis is a beautiful activity. And I wish to bestow upon you the beauty of telling you that you're an amazing person. I'm glad that you're continuing to progress yourself in a very positive direction. Anyway, guys. We're getting the video here. If you want to check out my social medias, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, Discord, and second channel where I upload stream clips. So if you want to check out any of that stuff, feel free to do so. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.